What gets you excited about playing your sport? Is it the winning or winning because you earned it? Most athletes agree to play your absolute best in competition and to win on a regular basis, you need mental toughness along with superior physical skills and training. Having mental toughness in sports means you don't want to win by forfeit. You won't be happy just padding your stats against weaker teams or getting the win because of a bad officials call. Players who are mentally tough want to compete against the best and they throw themselves into challenge at the highest levels possible. I want to share with you an inspiring mental toughness story that, that happened in women's softball back in April of 08. Sarah Tukolsky, a petite five foot two player for Western Oregon University, hit the first home run of her career to break a scoreless tie in their conference playoffs. She drove in two runs, but while trotting around the bases in her excitement, she missed touching first base. She realized her error. She turned to go back and in a freak accident, tore her ACL, forcing her knee to give out. Now, instead of giving up, she literally crawled back to first base. Her teammates wanted to help, but the umpire warned that if anybody even touched her, she would be called out. The umpire gave her coach the option for Sarah to stay on first and get a pinch runner, but it would cancel her home run and be called a single. In an amazing act of mental toughness, two players from the opposing team, they ran over to first base. They picked Sarah up and they carried her around the bases, dipping her good leg down to touch each base. The umpire gave her the home run as they crossed the plate and then Sarah's own entire team carried her to the dugout. The opposing team, Central Washington, they ended up losing the game and Sarah's team won the conference and advanced to the NCAA Division Tournament. Now, those two opposing team players, they wanted to win as badly as anyone out there. But they didn't want to win by default. They wanted to earn it as much as Sarah had earned her home run. You know that famous quote, winning isn't everything, it's the only thing? Well, for players who are really mentally tough, that's flat out false. So that day, there were two good examples of mental toughness. Sarah, who had that never give up attitude to stay in the game, even if it meant crawling to get to her, to get her home run. And the two opposing team players who only wanted to win if they earned it. Welcoming challenge and diving into tough situations on purpose is what mental toughness in sports is all about. Always remember that victory is the sweetest when you've worked hard and you earn it. So decide right now that this is how you want to achieve mental toughness. And having this attitude will get you past all the hardships that come with playing sports and positively affect all areas of your life. I'm Craig Sigal, the Mental Toughness Trainer. Go to mentaltoughnesstrainer.com to get your free training and guided visualization on how to play your best under pressure.